Have you ever rooted your device and can't seem to get Android software updates? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get those Android software updates. What's up guys, it's MKC Technology here, also known as MKC Gamer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Android software updates on your Android phone after you have rooted your phone and made modifications to the software. Now, first things first, what you want to do is get the stock firmware for your phone and flash the stock firmware back to your phone. After you have done that, what you want to do is take out the SIM card out of your phone because if you do not have this if you don't have the SIM card in your phone then this will not work for you because yeah if you I mean if you have the SIM card in your phone then this will not work for you if you do not have the SIM card in your phone then this will work for you because if the SIM card is not in your phone then Metro PCS will or T-Mobile AT&T whatever won't be able to talk to the uh, people that made your phone or like people like Samsung or HTC they won't be able to talk to your um talk to people that made your phone and um yeah that's how you get the Android software update so after you have taken out the sim card what you want to do is go into your settings scroll down to about device scroll down to build number Tap that seven or eight times until it says your device is now a developer. Go down to developer options, enable OEM unlocking, enable USB debugging. From there, what you want to do is go back to about device, click on software update. It will then say connecting to server and when it's connected and what it means by connecting to server. It, it, it's basically saying that it's connecting to Google servers to retrieve your Android software update. Now, um, I updated my phone. It's still on stock Android 5.1.1. Um, just, uh, it has a new, um, it has a new app drawer button uh, look to it. I don't know how to properly explain it, but... Once you've had, once it has connected to the server and retrieved the Android software update, you will then be brought to a screen where it will then download the update. After the update, you'll be then brought to a screen where it it has words on it and stuff like that, where you could postpone the update or you can update it now. After you've seen that screen, click update now, and your device will then restart and update the device. Now I'm gonna click software update now. Checking for software updates. This is the point of time where it will connect to the server. As you see, like I said earlier in the video, I've already updated my device. So, yeah. With that being said, guys, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not clicked the subscribe button yet, please hit the subscribe button now. Like for more videos. Comment down below on what you thought about the video. But try not to put bad comments. Uh, that being said, that'll be it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.